Psychology and architecture are interrelated in many different ways. It has been proven through research that the physical features of our environment can impact our psyche in more ways than we might think. In the context of schools, the need for our mental and cognitive health to be in optimal condition because of utmost importance, as both factors are essential for our studies and proper functioning as human beings in general. With Gravity Heights Secondary's architectural design, it becomes evident that the elements of psychology were used to create the school's blueprint, as many of the f- physical features have been evidenced by research to be conducive to the improvement of cognitive health and learning for students. To name a few, some of these features pertain to color, lighting, furniture sh- shapes, collaboration opportunity and our connection to nature. The lighting of our environment also plays a huge role in emotion and in turn affecting our learning in many different ways. Particularly, natural light can be a huge influence on our overall mood. How, you may ask? It has been proven that spending more time under natural light significantly decreased the risk of developing mental health disorders such as depression and anxiety. A study done by the University of California suggests that in individuals between 37 and 73 years old, every hour that the subject spent outside in natural light decreased their risks of developing depression. Furthermore, sunlight effects or allows our bodies to synthesize vitamin D, which aids in memory retention and benefits our overall cognitive health. Sufficient doses of vitamin D also decreases the risk of Alzheimer's and other neurodegenerative diseases in older individuals. This also significantly benefits students' learning, where a lot of the courses require the students' cognitive health to be of optimal condition. Thankfully, because of Gravity Heights having windows that cover virtually every, every facet of the school, the amount of natural light that the students are able to be exposed to is plentiful, therefore increasing the ability for the students to learn. Our adoration for natural light stems from our ancestors' connection to the natural environment. Nature often means abundant resources, which are crucial to one's survival. However, artificial light, on the other hand, has been shown to be detrimental to the human psyche. For instance, excessive exposure to artificial light, which includes indoor light, is detrimental to sleep quality, which consequently affects cognition, as good quality of sleep is paramount to a properly functioning brain, again very important for learning. The abundance of natural light in the school, however, makes it so that artificial light is a minimal problem. Well, let's ask what this student thinks about all this. Okay, so um, how do you feel about the school's windows and like, the natural, the natural Yes, I guess they're great. It gives me more like a very spatial idea. Like this place is very big. It also gives me like a very like, free feeling. Like I have all the space in me and not like in a prison or something. Yeah, so like, you so, like, feel better. Like, yes. Okay, yeah. All of these factors make Gravity Heights a huge architectural improvement compared to some older schools such as Earl Mary's Secondary. Earl Maria is known for having little to no windows, consequently leading to almost no natural light to be let into the school. As a consequence, this leads to students getting an overexposure of artificial light, or sometimes their rooms are devoid of all light. A lack of natural light is known to cause depression in students, which generally leads to a lack of motivation to learn. Conclusively, the importance of abundant natural light is highlighted through its effects on student mood, and as a result, student learning. Furniture, shapes, and materials. Interestingly, the shape of the furniture and the objects around us can also influence the way we think and learn. Let's all come down to the idea of virtual complexity. Virtual complexity refers to our environment and the amount of intricate details that is contained within it. In a virtual reality, reality study conducted by Eisen, the subjects saw a variety of three scenes. The study concluded with them finding that participants felt that the streets that were the most virtually complex to be the most engaging. 
Furthermore, another study concluded that participants found curvilinear rooms or rooms with a lot of curved edges as well as run all lines to be most visually appealing and to be most pleasant to stay in compared to rooms with your typical rectangular shaped rooms with sharper edges. With Grandview Heights, the, the furniture is particularly exemplary of the attention of architecture complexity that was paid during the construction of the school. Most of the tables and seats have interesting rounded contours and curved edges, as seen with the classroom tables, and pretty much all of the furnitures that are located outside of the classroom even. Moreover, if you're, you view the outside of the school from bird's eyes, uh, eye view, or at the ground level, you can see that the school's atrium is a circular shape with round edges that seems to be intentionally built to be visually appealing and mentally stimulating. This mental stimulation is in the students' drive for learning and enthusiasm was the interesting and complex shapes of the school's furniture and structure allows for students to be more interested and content with their work. The materials themselves that were used to build a school are also worth noting too. Uh, in particular, woods have been used extensively to build the inner parts of the school along the walls. Uh, a study conducted by psychologists on young workers and students suggests that uh, participants who were assigned assignments to do in wooden rooms generally had higher energy uh, and reduced anxiety levels compared to those who did assignments in another room. Uh, as such, the data suggests that the abundance of wooden elements in the school may strengthen our connection to nature and aid our learning. The material that, uh, that our chairs are made of also play a role in how we may approach schoolwork. For instance, sitting in a cozy, comfortable chairs that are soft release the tension and stress in people, while people sitting in harder chairs do not feel the same effect. The school school's sofas are often soft and nice to sit on, which may be why the school's lounge area as students flock on the softer chairs to do their work and study. The effects of color have been studied for decades and have been proven to have a significant effect on our mental health. Us humans love sensory stimulation and color provides that in the form of visuals. In relation to architecture, the use of color is one of the most integral components of buildings, such as schools, offices, and shopping centers. Warmer colors such as red, orange, yellow induce passion and energy in people, while cooler colors such as green and blue invokes calm, peace, and stability. With schools, Colors can be seen everywhere, from our highlighters and pens to the very structure of the school itself. Interestingly, UBC conducted a study on roughly 600 subjects, where the subjects were placed into rooms with the colors red, blue, and other neutral colors, respectively. Through the research, people who took a cognitive exam in the red room performed with more accuracy, since people tend to associate red with danger and energy. Conversely, people who took the cognitive test in the blue room or worse are retaining information, however, fare much better with tasks that require creativity and imagination. It is important to know, however, that other studies contradict this by revealing that students who saw red ink on their paper right before an exam did 20% worse on the exam compared to those who did not. This may be one of the reasons why red is a rare color in the school compared to blue, green, or yellow. Blue has been shown to reduce stress in people as well as trust as well as building trust, which may be reasons why Granby Heights endorses the color and is common as seen with the furniture and exterior and the exterior of the buildings. Another one of Granby Heights' most common colors is yellow, which can be seen with the tables and sofas. Yellow is known to be associated with joy in people. Green, a popular color choice among many, has long been attributed to safety and happiness among students. It is also a prevalent color that can be seen in the school with its furniture and equipment. Moreover, moreover, it can also be seen through the windows of the school where greenery such as trees and grass can be viewed. While possible theories because of our connection to nature, our ancestors saw the color gray as a rich source of food and water, which are both essential to survival. Thus, the psychological impact that colors have on us can be attributed to past experiences and connections, or what psychologists define as learning. 
The feeling of happiness and safety is imperative to a productive work environment, where students are motivated to make the most out of their education compared to sad, unmotivated students. The school's effective use of space encourages collaboration among peers. Open spaces, in particular, lead to feeling of isolation and lack of sense of com community among people, as argued by critics during the Bloody Hill housing crisis. Often, social isolation leads to feeling of depression and anxiety in teenagers and adults, an issue that leads to decreased social skills. Meanwhile, a healthy and collaborative work environment allows for the positive and unbranded environments, which may lessen the debilitating effect of depression. However, <clears throat> when used properly, open spaces can invoke a sense of freedom. For example, the high setting of the school's interior effectively uses this open space to create an open and unconfined environment. Let's now explore how the school's closed spaces are important to, for the collaboration among students. Collaborative work, when done right, can also benefit learning as students can help each other out and learn together to identify certain knowledge gaps that we may have. Learning how to collaborate is also a very important skill for students to learn as it extends well beyond the scope of school. And it's an important skill to learn in order to prosper in the works for workforce, schools break out the room and collaboration spaces can decrease the, this gap between the students and fosters collaborative learning. As students are in close proximity to one another and are able to easily communicate in regards to a project assignment or something else. Yeah. However, this collaborative aspect of school only works to a certain extent. This flaw of close proximity also has its own implications. A thing with a narrow hallway that the school has. The tight spaces in the hallway means that with students transition between classes because of the large number of students that are studying in the school, the spaces are restricted and confined. Studies have shown that confined spaces often induce anxiety and stress in the people. It is even more of the nightmare for those who are claustrophobic. Fear of closed space, spaces as the lack of space can be overwhelming for the students. Stress and anxiety can cause adverse effects on students' learning, as it affects our ability to think clearly, while the school's closed space can be conductive to collaborative. There is a certain extent in which the spaces can be reduced before negative mental health effects begin to click in. Numerous aspects of Granville Heights architecture aspects have been proven to be beneficial and conductive to the learning of students who are placed of great importance inside of school. <clears throat> With the combination of engaging colors, natural environments, lighting, wires, furniture, and materials, as well as effective spatial organization, it is undeniable that the design of Granville Heights greatly encourages students' learning and is a perfect example of why architecture has such a huge impact on the psyche of humans in general.